last month when I last did an update, I had said that um, I was hoping to do some expansion. I managed to do a little bit, not quite what I wanted to do, but part way there. Um, I've added a PWC raft system, and um, I'm going to show you how I've done everything. What well, you would have seen last time, more or less. We have our basil, our lemon basil, we now have some lettuce and some rocket. We've added some dill. There's that plant that we weren't too sure about. Still not too sure what it is, but I'm thinking possibly a pumpkin or a butternut squash. Uh, we have some mint. And then over here, we are trying to grow some beans. And then here we have our fish. And now, here is our addition. So, our pump is in the fifth tank. It pumps up to the spray bar. And this is going down to the end of the spray bar. Comes up there. Goes into the bottom of this blue barrel, which is a radio flow filter. And it comes out over there, and goes straight into this IBC, where we have a piece of PVC board with holes drilled in it, and we are growing lots of lettuce. As you can see, we have some lovely looking roots and lovely looking head lettuce. We have some red leaf lettuce, we have some um, romaine or cause lettuce, uh, we have something that's called mignonette, and then we just have regular local, local lettuce. Yeah, so it, um, the water flows into there. And a continuous flood basically. And it exits through the bottom there. Comes out. And it feeds back into the tank. This is the radio flow filter. Water enters through the center there and slowly empties out down to the bottom and then comes back up and exits through that pipe there. Which then exits there and goes into the, the trough. And then every week or so, I attach a hose onto that and turn on the stop clock, drain the water out of the filter, get all the solids out, and water our banana trees, and our pea trees, and our papaw tree. And then we also have an avocado tree here that we're hoping we'll bear someday soon. And our lime tree, which does pretty good. There we have it. That's what our garden looks like. So, 
Hope you enjoyed it and found something interesting and maybe inspired you to grow something aquaponics or just something in the soil. Whichever you do, have fun.